What up YouTube, it's Kurt here, and today I'm going to bring you a video showing you how, yeah, how important it is to have basic Pokemon in your deck so that you don't give your opponent mulligans. Um, mulligans can be a really damaging thing to any deck because drawing is such an important part of this game. And this will come as second nature to a lot of experienced players, and this will help you in real life and in online because they're pretty much the same. So... Mulligans just are really damaging because, again, so much is based around drawing and the fact that you can give your opponent one or two or three extra cards, that's really going to hurt you in the long run. But, um, again, you can take advantage of turn order on this. And a way to mitigate this sort of is if you go first, you can kind of mitigate this by stacking your deck with a lot of red cards. If you don't know what red card is, red card can make the opponent shuffle their hand into their deck and then draw four more cards. Now, it really only works that well if you draw on the first turn, but that's a good way to m mitigate mulligans if you have a deck that's kind of designed to more revolve around uh, smaller amounts of monsters. You can have some balance there, I guess, and have it work out for you a little bit. But I wouldn't recommend that. That would be more towards a niche type of decks that wouldn't probably be that effective. So, with that said, because I got three mulligans on this point, I got some cards that are going to make this uh, really easy for me to win right off the bat. I wouldn't have gotten these cards otherwise if I didn't get those three extra card draws. And I'm at a huge advantage because I'm going first. Um, you're always at a huge advantage almost always had a huge advantage going first in the, in the Pokemon trading card game. Maybe except for Night March decks. Uh, Night March is probably the only deck that doesn't really take that much advantage of going first. Uh, but even then, it's kind of a it's kind of 50-50. It's really not disadvantageous to go for first for a Night March deck. But anyway, so here I'm able to discard because I got that uh, Scorching Earth, got my, yeah, got my Blacksmith, and then I'm able to evolve my Pokemon and pretty much just take him out for a second turn. A second turn doink. Bloop. So yeah, again, always keep enough basic Pokemon in your deck, guys. Uh, that's pretty important. All right. Well, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Um, so I want to bring you gameplay with uh, more uh, various types of decks as well. And uh, yeah, I've been using fire a lot, but I also want to use uh, some water decks. I want to use uh, decks of every type. It's just hard to collect uh, good cards from every single type. So if you have any questions, concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Um, and I'm just going to post this matchup here for fun. And this guy... Yeah, it's also showing another disadvantage. Um, this is one you can't really do anything about. Pretty much every deck will have weaknesses, so that's really unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, this one will be purely for your guys' entertainment. So if you want to watch, feel free to keep watching. But I'll end the commentary here. So feel free to enjoy the match, guys. Appreciate it.